Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how we can calculate the doses of a tesunate and converting it into milli, into mils, milligram to mils. So I'm going to show you two ways and you will choose which one you will use. All of them will bring us the same answer. A tesunate is calculated according to kilogram body weight. Those who are, who are less than 20 kilograms, it is given 3.0 milligram per kilogram body weight. And then those who are, who are greater than 20 kilogram, it is given 2.4 milligram per kilogram body weight. Now, let's give a scenario. If someone has 18 kilogram, and then someone has 23 kilogram. So this one will fall under this and this one will fall under this. So let's start. One, the easiest way will put 3.0 time kilogram body weight. That is 18 kilogram. What will we get this one? 3.0 time 18. So we will get 54.0 milligram. So we are going to get 54.0 milligram. So now let's convert this milligram into mils. The amount which we are going to give to the child or to this baby. At this one is one book. The one we are going to use, one box is having 16 milligrams. So we are going to dilute. If you don't know how to dilute, you can check the video in the description. I will put it on the screen on how to dilute a tesonet. And you can go, come and follow this one. So what we are going to do, we are going to put 54 divided by 60 times 6. Because the sodium bicarbonate is 1 and then sodium chloride is 5. See, if you add, it will bring to 6. So, what will we get here? So, if we calculate this one. So, 54 divided by 60 times 6. So, we are going to get... 5.4 mils. So this is what we are going to ask spread and we give to this baby. Even for this one, it is the same. We are going to then multiply 23 times 2.4. Let's see what will we get. 23 times 2.4. We are going to get 55.2. So it will give us 55.2 milligram. So to convert this one, we are going to put 55.2 milligram divided by 60 times 6. So let's divide this one by 60 and we'll multiply by 6. What will we get? We'll get 5.52 mils. But we can round this one and we get 5.5 mils and we give to the person. That's one if the kilogram is less, eh, greater than 20. So, that's the first method. How about the second method? The second method we are going to multiply all at once. Then we are going to divide by dialects. So, let's start with 18. So, what we are going to do, we are going to put 18 kilogram isn't we are going to multiply by 3.0 and then we are going to divide by 60 isn't 60 and then we are going to multiply by 6 so this is the method we are going to use this is the second one. So what will we get here? We, let's see if, we will, if they will bring us the same result. 18 times 3.0 
times 6 divided by 60. So you see, we will get 5.4 mils. This one now converted direct to mils, isn't it? So this one is more easy than the other one. So how about if someone is having kilogram greater than 20? So let's use 23 times 2.4 times 6 divided by 60. So what will we get? 23 times 2.4 times 6 divided by 60. So, we are going to get 5.52 mils. So, you see, all the answers are the same. So, you can either use the first one or the second. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time. See you in the next one.